Is Barrel still on a hot streak? Let's find out. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are uh, reviewing Barrel's newest uh, release, Vantage. You almost screwed that up again. It was close. Yeah, so uh, full disclosure, uh, Barrel actually sent us this last year, and we have been so behind. It's been a so, few months, yeah. It's been a It's few. been so... Has it really been a couple months? Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel terrible. We have been so far behind on getting reviews out, because... You know, we were trying to do stuff for end of the year and blah, blah, blah. And we're just now getting to it. So we're sorry, Barrel. Thank you all for sending us. Yes, we it. appreciate it. Um, but, you know, Dave and I were just talking about this. Like, everything we had from Barrel last year was awesome. Yeah, it like, actually I was. Have, I didn't have everything from Barrel. No, I didn't either. But, but pretty much everything I have had from them has been great. Yeah. So at least over the last year. Uh, but really quick, uh, this is 114.4 proof. It's sourced from Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. I don't know the age statement on it. I don't, we didn't get any paperwork or anything. No, we no, didn't. didn't. No. It's 90 bucks. So it's the typical price of barrel. Yeah, yeah. but I actually don't hate because normally we know, or normally we have an idea of some of the age statements in it. Yeah. And I normally don't hate that price point. So I'm guessing it's probably reasonably aged. It probably is. And so, and then what's it finished in? It is finished in uh, Miserana French and toasted American oak barrels. Look, I always say Mizununo or whatever. <laughs> Mizuno, like, you know the golf, the golf club. Yep. So, you know, I had a pair of irons like that back in the day. But, all right. Hmm. Man, it's a southern peach if I've ever smelled one does have it is to me it's like that's so peachy it's a little bit floral which i i, I don't mind a little bit of a, a floral note there i think you definitely smell the toastiness there's also orange in that just as long as it's not citrus vodka i'm good but oh hmm. I see. <laughs> I see. I will say there, like I feel like I can just from the Glen being down there, and I just, yeah, I just get the, I just, I, just, I can just get the whiff of peach, like that peach to me is really strong. Yeah, I can, I, I can see that for sure. I feel like, so, you've been to Culver's, right? Culver's. I just had Culver's yesterday. Okay, so. Culver's is like fast food restaurant locally around here. I, wouldn't I, 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 I don't know if it's locally or how far out it goes. I would not call it fast. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get your food. I'm not going with that. What They don't have ice cream. What do they have? Custard. Custard. Okay, yeah. so it's like a Wisconsin kind of thing or whatever. It's yeah. basically like it's it's vanilla ice cream. Uh, it's not like, Essentially, yes. Yeah, it's, it's essentially vanilla ice cream. But it reminds but me. Thick. It is super thick, but it reminds me of that mixed with oranges and peaches it's got it just it's a very light nose like it's really you think so I, I don't no i mean light in the sense of not the smell but like it just just is like oh it's oh like, yeah, light, yeah it's like a yeah. no that's fair just not a heaviness to the nose yeah all right I kind of like this being a, my first drink of the day, too. Like, Oh, this is a... Yeah, I was going to say, this is actually our first drink of the day. I We didn't even have a warm-up whiskey. No. Which we probably should have had. <laughs> we probably should have, but it's all right. And it this happens. is all over the place on the palate. A ton of oak. There's some odor oak notes to that and some fresh oak notes to that. Yeah. Floral, buttery. I, I mean, those are all great, great words. <laughs> Um, that, that those are things that I would have probably said myself. So I'm glad that you said it. You were good. <laughs> you use your mouth pretty well, sir. Uh, cin- cinnamon. <laughs> I swear, first first drink of the day. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I, I'll be honest with you. I, it's got a little bit of spice on the front end, like just a like. It's got more to it on the palate than what I thought 
from the nose. Like as far as... See, I feel like the front of the palate, and I mean this not in like a, like a bad way, but it's kind of basic in the sense of like, like you have a lot of oak notes. No, no, I, I agree with that. Like, I think it's not like overly complex. I'm just saying like, I think it lets you know that you're drinking it to me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah for sure. That's what I meant by having But a then bit like more. the back side of the palate is when it kind of starts to open up to a little bit of like spice, like some, yeah. like there's almost like a little bit of like a, like a ginger beer note on there and some different spices. It opens up a little bit more into the oak. Not so much of the new oak or fresh oak, it's more yeah. of the older oak to that. So, in the vanilla. Yeah, that's uh, I love uh, the palette on this actually. Yeah, it's I so, don't know that I don't know that I lo so, love the finish, but I love the palette. See, I like the back side of the palette and the finish more than the front of the palette. It's so different though. Listen, I don't know if this is as good as Batch 33. I don't, I don't think, think it so. is. But that's, I mean, that's good. And I'm I'm more and more impressed with Barrel the more and more that we drink Barrel. Yeah. I, I think they do a really good job, man. And blending is hard. Actually, blending's not hard. Blending well. <laughs> blending well is very it's difficult yeah. uh, to, to me. Yeah. And when you can do it well... Uh, you you can you can sell a lot of bourbon that way. You know how we talked about the Jack Daniels? Which one? Your favorite. Oh, my yeah. not so favorite. Yeah, it's not your favorite. I feel like this is similar to Jack Daniels in the sense of this is so funky, but in a good way. Like I yeah. think Jack Daniels is funky in a good way. Yeah. This is so funky. It's so unique. Yeah. To where I think you know you have some people that absolutely love it, and some people that probably don't like it as much. And then I think there's a lot of people who are whiskey enthusiasts who will like this because it's so different. And I think, I, I'm assuming that's what they shot for as probably more with all this stuff going on. With all the stuff going on, and yeah. And I, th I think it's good. Like I, like, I think it's a good mixture. I like it warms you really well, too. Like, Well, that's the other thing, too. The uh, proof I, really sticks with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm and, impressed with that. And for it only being a 114 proof. Yes, it's the first whiskey of the day. That be could fair, be what it is, too. Yeah, But I think it's solid. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. For, uh, yes, I, I think so too. It, it'd be a buy for me. I think it's definitely a try to a buy. If you like weird, funky stuff, I think this is a this is a buy because you should be able to find it. Even though I will say the one place I go to, Nulu, um, I know that at times they've had issues keeping this in stock. They I, so my my store too, my liquor barn. Yeah. I didn't, I haven't seen it there last year. They, so. There's lots of different barrels at liquor barn, but not the vantage i will say and with this being a little more fruity like this is kind of like a, the proof i'd like to see what it looks like during the summer or whatever but i feel like once it starts warming up this will still be a good drinker yeah i think i, I think so, you're right oh and by the way a shout out to uh barrel for coming in our top 20 with that cast strength 33 too yeah cast strength 33. Uh -oh. yeah, that was pretty good all right well till next time we'll see you we'll see you